How many times have you wondered if your guy is cheating on you or if he is even the type that would cheat? Well, today I'm going to talk to you about five different signs that will show you that he may cheat on you. Stay tuned. You know, so many times I hear my clients say things like, how do I know if he's cheating on me? Should I go through his things? Should I say something to him? You know, like, what is he doing? You know, how do I know he's being faithful? All of these things that we're worried about consistently over and over and over again, trying to figure out what is our guy doing? Today, we're talking about five signs that he may cheat on you. And these are things that you want to look for to see, is your guy doing this? Is he showing these signs? Because these are some surefire things that I have done some research on and have seen that many times these things are true. The first thing is he is super, super selfish. His needs seem to be more important than yours. He's not concerned with an us. He's concerned with an I. He's always trying to figure out what it is that he needs to do for himself. He's not including you in anything. And you have to ask yourself, if you guys are together, why isn't he including you in his plans? Why isn't he including you in his life, in his future, in the things that he's thinking about as far as his life is concerned? And when he's not doing that, he may be thinking about those things with somebody else. The second thing is his needs aren't being met. Things like he's always wanting sex and maybe you're tired or he's trying to figure out how to get you to do certain things and maybe you're complaining, maybe because you have you felt like the relationship has breached and you're not doing some of the things that he says that he wants done, um, then he may be looking to do those things with someone else. If your guy is a person that wants sex all the time and you're like, I'm tired or you're making excuses or you're doing all of these different things and you're not giving in to his desires, if he is really desiring you like that and he's coming to you, that means he's really trying to keep from doing something on the outside. Um, so I, you know, you really have to think about that. Like if he's not getting those needs met, he's going to go find those needs to be met someplace else. And you have to make sure that you're placing yourself in position to make sure that that doesn't happen. And, or he's asking you for time and you're always busy. Well, if he's asking you for things, generally he's wanting those things. It's not just for him to just be wasting his breath. But if he's asking you for time, he's asking you for sex, he's asking you to do things for him and he's verbalizing those things because most men, when they verbalize it, that means they're being vulnerable and letting you know that there are some needs that he needs, some things he needs. And if he's telling you what he's needing and you're not giving him those things, he may find someone else to do them for him. The third thing is he is always seeking affirmation. Things like he's asking you, well, what do you think about this? Or how did I do? Or he's showing you things that he's done and he's looking for you to affirm him. Um, I mean, even things that you're thinking, well, shouldn't you be doing that? Like, you know, cutting the grass or fixing the car or taking your car to get gas. And some women may feel like those are things that you should be doing. You're not giving me accolades every time I cook your dinner or you're not giving me accolades every time I have sex with you things of that sort, because you feel like these are things that are supposed to be done. But everybody doesn't think that everything that they do naturally is supposed to be done. You have to give your man affirmations. He thrives off of that. Men are naturally competitive. And when, when you're in competition, you're trying to win. And what happens when you're trying to win? You're trying to get accolades. So you have to affirm him even when you don't feel like it. Even when you feel like he's being a jerk, you need to find ways to find uh, find the good in what he's doing, find the good in who he is so that you can begin to affirm him and build him up because he needs that. He thrives on that because it makes him feel like a winner. Number four, he is overly competitive. Now, what do I mean by being overly competitive? Where he's always seeking out 
a 302, compete against somebody, compete against another guy. He's always pointing out what he does good or what he's done and, and, and point out everything that he's doing that shows a win for him. When he's overly competitive, he's going to be thinking of ways to beat out the next person and it's not going to stop. It's not going to be, it's even going to make you feel like he's competing against you. And so you got to start to think about that. Overly competitive men have high levels of testosterone. High levels of testosterone draws women to you, to him. And it's kind of like a, a magnet, if you will, that testosterone, and it turns on his, his, his loins, if you will. And as that testosterone fires up, he's consistently trying to get it fulfilled. So a man that's overly competitive has that high level. You'll find that men that have a low level of testosterone are more calm. They're more into the one woman. They're more stable, but that testosterone has them fired up and they're off, they're impulsive and all of these things. And so you got to wonder about that. And what, why is he like that? What is he doing? Why is he trying to always be one up? Why is he always trying to be the man? Those types of things will be some of those triggers that will get him to go and cheat. The last thing is that he's just a jerk no matter what. It does not matter what you do, how he does it, how you do it, what you say to him. He is just going to be negative. He's always complaining. He's always saying what you haven't done right. He's pointing fingers at you. He's just doing all types of things to make you look really small. And if he's doing that nine times out of 10, he's doing that to make sure that he doesn't feel bad about the things that he's doing. Because again, men are competitive. And when you have a competitive person, they always have to be on the upside. They always have to look good. They always have to make sure that they are the person, right? And when that man is trying to be the man all the time, he can't look bad. So when he when he's trying to put you under his foot, he's trying to make you feel small, trying to make you look like you're the villain all the time, you got to wonder why. Those are usually things that he's doing to make sure that he doesn't look bad so that just in case he gets caught, he can always point at your flaws. I hope that this helps someone. Please, again, make sure that you're like, commenting, and sharing. Share with me what do you think are some of the signs when you find that your mate has cheated? What did you look at in, in hindsight? Tell me some of the things that you would uh, that you think that should be on this list of what to look for to see if a person is cheating on you. I love y'all for real, for real. Go out and, and love on somebody. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.